All over our planet, from sunny plains to windy hills, stand giant stone structures from a long, long time ago. These ancient monuments, often shrouded in mystery, have stood the test of time, weathering the elements and witnessing the rise and fall of civilizations. These are the megaliths, built by ancient people thousands of years ago. They are scattered across the globe, each with its own unique story and significance. From the towering stones of Stonehenge in England, to the enigmatic statues of Easter Island, these structures captivate our imagination. These megaliths are not just random piles of stones, they are carefully constructed monuments that required immense effort and ingenuity. The ancient builders had a deep understanding of their environment and the materials they used. They employed sophisticated techniques to cut, transport, and assemble these massive stones with precision. They make us wonder about the past, telling stories of cleverness and skill that still amaze us. As we walk among these ancient stones, we can't help but feel a connection to the people who built them. Their legacy lives on in these enduring monuments, reminding us of our shared human history. How did people back then, without any modern tools, cut, move, and build with these huge stones? The methods they used remain a subject of fascination and debate among historians and archaeologists. Some theories suggest the use of simple yet effective tools, while others propose more advanced techniques that have been lost to time. The size of these structures is incredible. Standing before them, one can't help but be awed by their sheer scale and the effort it must have taken to create them. These stones, some weighing hundreds of tons, are a testament to human determination and ingenuity. Giant stones, some weighing hundreds of tons, show what humans can do. They demonstrate the incredible capabilities of our ancestors, who, despite lacking modern technology, achieved feats that continue to baffle us today. These megaliths are a powerful reminder of what we can accomplish with creativity and perseverance. They are a history book carved in stone, a real connection to our planet's prehistoric past. Each carving and inscription tells a story, offering insights into the lives, beliefs, and cultures of the people who created them. These stones are not just relics, they are storytellers, preserving the memories of ancient civilizations. As we explore the secrets of these megaliths, we discover amazing engineering and also learn about the people who lived long ago. The study of these structures provides valuable information about ancient societies, their technological advancements, and their ways of life. Each discovery adds a new piece to the puzzle of our past. We learn about their ideas, their beliefs, and their amazing ability to do things that seem impossible. These ancient builders were not just laborers, they were visionaries, artists, and engineers. Their work continues to inspire and challenge us, urging us to look back and appreciate the incredible achievements of our ancestors. Our journey starts in southeastern Turkey, at a place that changed how we think about human history, Gobekli Tepe. This archaeological marvel, often referred to as the First Temple, has reshaped our understanding of early human societies. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity and spiritual life of our ancestors. Built around 10,000 BC, it's 6,000 years older than Stonehenge. This makes Gobekli Tepe not just a historical site, but a window into a time when humans were transitioning from nomadic lifestyles to more settled communities. Here on a hill overlooking the Anatolian plains are the ruins of what might be the world's oldest temple. The location itself is strategic, offering a panoramic view of the surrounding landscape, which might have held significant meaning for its builders. Circles of massive T-shaped pillars, some with detailed carvings of animals, stand as if frozen in time. These pillars, arranged in concentric circles, suggest a place of gathering, perhaps for rituals or communal activities. Building Gobekli Tepe was a huge job. The sheer scale of the construction effort indicates a highly organized society with the ability to mobilize and sustain a large workforce. The pillars, some weighing up to 20 tons, were cut from a nearby hill using simple tools, probably made of flint and other hard stones. This feat of engineering demonstrates not only physical strength, but also advanced knowledge of stoneworking techniques. They were then moved without wheels or animals to where they are now and carefully placed in circles. This process would have required meticulous planning and coordination, highlighting the community's collective effort and shared purpose. The detailed carvings, showing many animals from foxes and snakes to lions and wild pigs, make this ancient puzzle even more interesting. These carvings might represent the spiritual beliefs or mythologies of the people who built Gobekli Tepe. 
What did these symbols mean to the people who carved them? Were they totems, deities, or perhaps representations of stories passed down through generations? What happened inside these mysterious circles? Were they places of worship, social gatherings, or something else entirely? The secrets of Gobekli Tepe continue to captivate archaeologists and historians, offering endless possibilities for understanding our ancient past. On Salisbury Plain in England is Stonehenge, maybe the most famous megalithic structure in the world. This ancient monument has captured the imagination of countless generations, drawing visitors from all corners of the globe. Its huge stones, arranged in a circle, have fascinated people for centuries. The sheer size and weight of these stones make one wonder about the ingenuity and determination of the people who built it. Even today, Stonehenge is still a mystery, inspiring awe and wonder. The purpose of this enigmatic structure has been the subject of much speculation and research. How did these giant stones, some weighing up to 50 tons, get to this ordinary-looking place? The logistics of transporting and erecting these stones without modern machinery is a puzzle that continues to baffle experts. The builders of Stonehenge were very good at planning and building. They demonstrated remarkable engineering skills and a deep understanding of their environment. They got the huge sarsen stones from as far as 25 miles away and moved them using human strength, rollers, and levers. This feat required not only physical strength, but also precise coordination and teamwork. They were very precise in how they placed the stones, fitting the horizontal lintels on top of the upright pillars. The joints between the stones were carefully crafted to ensure stability and durability. This shows their skill and cleverness. The precision with which the stones were shaped and assembled is a testament to their advanced knowledge and craftsmanship. No one knows for sure what Stonehenge was used for. Theories abound, ranging from astronomical observatory to ceremonial site. Some people think it was a solar calendar, a place for healing, or a site for religious rituals. The alignment of the stones with the solstices suggests a connection to celestial events, or a place to worship ancestors. Whatever its original purpose, Stonehenge remains a powerful symbol of human ingenuity and the enduring mystery of our past. Stonehenge and Gobekli Tepe are just two examples of something found all over the world. From the coast of Brittany to Easter Island, megalithic structures are everywhere, each showing the cleverness of ancient cultures. In Egypt, the pyramids are giant tombs for pharaohs, and on Easter Island, the mysterious Moai statues look out over the volcanoes. These structures, though far apart, are similar in how they were built and the symbols they use. The massive stones, the way they line up with the stars, and the similar carvings suggest that these different cultures were connected somehow. Did they share knowledge, passed down over many years? Or did these amazing structures happen by chance, showing that all humans want to create and leave something behind? Mastering the stone tools and techniques. Building megalithic structures was a huge project, needing cleverness and an understanding of simple physics. Without modern machines, ancient builders used simple but effective tools and techniques. Levers and rollers made of wood were used to move the massive stones long distances. Ropes made from plants and pulley systems, probably using logs as simple wheels, helped lift and move the heavy stones. Earth ramps, built around the structures helped workers slowly raise the stones higher and higher, while wooden scaffolding helped them reach the top. The power of many communal effort. Building a megalithic structure wasn't just about engineering, it was about people working together. These projects needed entire communities to work together for many years. Imagine how hard it was, cutting the stones, moving them, feeding and housing all the workers. It shows how powerful it is when people work together to do amazing things. These structures aren't just made of stone and earth. They are symbols of teamwork, showing what we can do when we all work towards the same goal. Decoding the past purpose and significance. We still don't know the real purpose of many megalithic structures. Were they temples for religious ceremonies, places to watch the sun and stars, or maybe burial grounds to honor the dead? The way some megaliths line up with the solstices and equinoxes shows that ancient people understood the changing seasons and how important they were. The detailed carvings at some sites, often of animals or symbols, suggest complex beliefs and rituals that we are just beginning to understand. Enduring Enigma's Unanswered Questions 
even after many years of research, we still have questions about megalithic structures. How did ancient builders build so precisely, often without writing or complex math? How did they organize themselves to do such big projects over many years? As we continue to explore these ancient sites, we are reminded of how clever and strong our ancestors were. They left behind more than just stones. They left us a desire to learn, to ask questions, and to understand our place in history. A legacy in stone inspiration for the future. Megaliths remind us of human cleverness and the mystery of the unknown. They make us ask questions, learn new things, and appreciate what people did long ago. As we learn more about these ancient stones, we understand more about human history. The megaliths aren't just from the past, they inspire us for the future, showing the strength of the human spirit and our ability to be creative.